Venturing across five different biomes this game had to offer, the new update into Seven Days to Die was unreal. The graphics looked fantastic, the character model had so much going on if you know what I mean, and all the vehicles I managed to build were juiced up and ready to go. I also made the biggest, the baddest, and the most beautiful base with a bunch of turrets. I tried my very best to land my first gyrocopter atop a building and finished off with the most wonderful garden that loved too much. Without further ado, I spent 100 days in 7 days to die 1.0 and here's what happened. The initial start of the game didn't seem too different and man was I so wrong. Uh, challenge? Challenge. Redeem? Oh. Oh, well, look at that. Challenge tutorial is complete. Cool. I began working towards the different types of questing for tools, finding a friend and excited to see how different the zombies looked or played. Whoa. The zombies are really detailed. They're so much better than before. Holy crap. I mean, before they were still okay, but for like a very, <laughs> for a game that was in uh, early access forever, like this is really nice. Sir, have you heard of the word? Have you heard of the word? Did you know that the bird's the word? Oh, go down, go down. No, oh, ow, ow. Stop it. Okay. Moments later, I was about to have a jaw dropping moment. <gasps> I'm a woman? I didn't even know I was a woman. Oh, I got boobas. Oh, I'm a woman. I knew it. I knew it. I just had to double check. With the club in my hand and working towards the nearest town, this would be the first time I attempted to use the bow and arrow. Hold on. Hold on. Ah. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? Fine. I'm moving a little weird. With the new location on the map, it was time to make my way towards the closest settlement, trying to hold myself back from all the wonderful distractions I faced. Ooh. Oh, oh, look at it. Oh, I can't put that on YouTube, but it's going on YouTube. Oh, oh, squirt for me. Sorry, that sounded so weird. <laughs> now for a little one-on-one -on -one with Wreck-It Ralph's second cousin. I'll sell you ah, good, so God, you cross me, you the, the, the wrong end of my The quest I picked up from the trader took me into some woods, digging around this yellow marker and returning the package for a nice juicy reward. Honestly, I do like my pistols, but these are pipe stuff, so I'm not too big on them. I'll just take this for now. The zombies rework still blew my mind. <gasps> are you my girlfriend? No. Ew, 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 she got like an eye. Look at it. Do you see that? Her eyes like like jiggling. Do you see the eye there? Look at it. Do you see that though? Like the eyes out of the socket, but it's still like hanging on by the uh, the the thing there. I don't know what it's called. That's so cool. As I was worried about the sun going down, I had to pick and choose a home for the night. Anything to get me off the streets. With a new dawn and a new day, the sun felt and looked so warm. Dude, look at the light rays. Oh so pretty this was also my new home or base whichever you prefer not only that but i had some wooden crates crafted up and used for storage by far the best thing for a hoarder like me who would have thought that having storage in a game could have helped me so dearly not me <laughs> what i almost forgot to do next was actually clearing out the zombies from this house i didn't want creepy crawlers biting my toes during the nighttime onto the quest at hand i gave it a clickety clack and was attacked oh crap Well, we're infected and all of the above. Keep forgetting about birds, man. I did happen to find something that put a smile on my face. Ooh, now that is actually a nice find. Wait, is that a pipe? Hold on. Pipe pistol. Oh, okay. Got our first big boy gun. Oh, I got honey. Cure. Oh, cure infection. No, did eels. Oh, dude, Liani, you are a legend. Holy crap. Now to just pick up and choose my reward. Put away your weapon. The next little house I spent time in was Sparks Place, taking my time to clear out the actual area and coming across a bunch of interesting posters. What I didn't expect to ever see in this game was certain traps I had to shut off. Uh, how do I get down there safely? That's, uh, 
That's a problem. I've never seen this before. Oh my god. The next day was great because my focus was for spears and spears alone. Choosing to keep my build focused around that kept me alive and killing zombies pretty quickly. Since the rally point for this next quest was also nearby, I figured why not and earn myself a little reward. While distracted underground, apparently a thick fog also picked up and had all sorts of surprises waiting for me. That level 5 spear, that was mine, and no one would stop me. Speaking of which, I started crapping my pants, forgetting that the sham sandwiches would literally give me dysentery. Oh no, oh no, golden rod tea. I got diarrhea. <laughs> I got diarrhea. Well, dysentery, which is pooping, pooping all the time. Hold on. I still wanted more things and stuff. I love things and stuff. Sadly, seeing that all these debuffs really started to affect me too much, this would be the only time I'd give in to the light and repent. As I was making my way back to my home, the real fun began. Organizing and actually having the space needed for everything. If only I started this sooner than later. The skill that was going to help me out the most was called Pack Mule. Just what I needed to start hoarding all of the things. The biggest reason for accepting and completing quests in 7 Days to Die was getting to the next tier, or the next location. After a certain amount of quests completed, you'd be given the next POI to travel to. So while checking out what seemed to be a very American shop, I found some beefy boys looking for a fight. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this guy. Tactical suit and everything. Oh, tactical suit men are dead, and his long- Oh my god, you're like hanging out. <gasps> they ragdoll! They really do! Look at it! Ragdoll, ragdoll, ragdoll. Oh, even the shadows with them and everything looks really good. The only way I was getting inside was from a button I couldn't find. It was a good thing that I didn't give up, however, because the loot in this place took me by surprise. There's a lot more to this place. What? It's like a whole station of stuff down here. All right. Ooh, that's the exit. Heck yeah. I have two more lockpicks and I just realized, oh my god, gun safe. This is where we need like a sledgehammer or a wrench. Hey, come on, please, 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 please. Yes, oh my god, here we go. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh yeah, what I came to learn quickly was about the wandering hordes of zombies. What are you guys banging on that car for? The fudge? What I also wanted to share with you, the viewer, and what I found inside the dead rooster POI was amazing. Oh, this is my girlfriend, guys. Oh my God, look at her, look at her, look at her. Hold on, let me see if I can bring her outside. This is my girlfriend. Oh my God, she is beautiful. Look at her. Oh, look at her and all the curves and oh, she looking mm, mm, so yummy. Oh my God, is that bad that I like a zombie? I don't know. Oh. I made sure to clear out any leftover zombies, picking up the loot this POI had, and taking some time to travel back to my home. As much as I was using this spear, the police baton was calling my name, looking towards the mortician's house and a place that would give me wonderful protection for blood moons to come. It also had four skulls and that excited me loads to want to check this place out. This place wasn't dangerous at all. Don't do the crawly thing. Oh my god, I hit them to the ground and they start crawling on me, man. So through everything I found inside the home, this area was about to show me why it had four skulls. More than that, it had feral zombies coming at me left, right, and center. Thank goodness for all the doors I still had because they saved my life countless times. Now I just had to see what all the hassle was about. Hey, another wandering horde just doing things. New house, new me. Am I right? With all the ammo I started finding, my guns were begging me to use them. Of course, they were better than melee, but not the pipe guns. Just, just no. Day 5 continued into the Midway Clinic, a great place before the infestation, and now a POI with loads of zombies. Even a snake that was trying to go for my toesies. Clearly, I wasn't ready for this place, but where was the harm in trying to do my best? Setting my sights onto something different, I found a not-so-far supply cache. A new quest and one to retrieve supplies from another POI, this definitely left me speechless. Oh, you got a red jar. Uh, I'm not looking at the jiggles. I, I swear I'm not looking at your jiggle physics. I am not looking at your jiggle physics. Nope. I'm, I swear I'm not. I'm sorry. I know. I, I said I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm totally looking at your jiggle physics. Oh my god. Any chance I got to find or buy water from a vending machine was a huge score. Things were definitely limited early on, so I'd spend all my coin I could. As I got yeah. further into the quest yeah. from this trader, the rewards also got better over time. Seems like the more I played Seven Days to Die, the traders, the looting, and just overall difficulty would grow so much more. It also turned out after visiting a small emergency room and this sacrificial POI, I would get the option for my first transportation ever. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, guys, we got a bicycle. First ever bicycle, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. I know there's so many other things I could take, but I need the bicycle. I want to get around faster and this is going to help me so much. Oh my god, it looks so much better. Look at it. 
they updated the bike and everything. Like it, it's not a legit bicycle. This is this would be like a like a mortar bike, motor motor bike. Little shoes, little pads. That's so cool. Oh, I love it. The handles, everything looks more beefier. Ooh, look at me go, baby. Look at me go. I probably should have waited to tackle this area, but because of the newfound feeling and my adrenaline pumping, I thought I was the shiz. With a new way to get around on day six, the quests came quicker. I could finish them up faster and sell things like hotcakes. This was exactly what I was looking for, a military looking POI to test out my weapons. Whew. All right, don't want to deal with the dog if I don't have to, holy crud. Got burning zombs, who's gonna hit your buddy? Oh, I should have warned ya. Door unlocked. I'm coming in. Fallout 4 New Vegas world type of deal. This looks so good. <gasps> Yo, a big blown thing. Something blew up and it's flooding. This place is flooding. The water's filling up. That's legit. That's so cool. <laughs> it's so different. It's not a seven days to die thing. I love it. Because now it is. You can't say nothing about this game. This game's awesome. This game definitely had some new puzzles to figure out, but with some brain power flowing, the rest was a cakewalk in the park. Oh, I got a crowd. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, we're on fire. You know, I, I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. Well, I don't. Okay. I don't know why I thought I could go that way. Oh my God. It's really flooding. Oh, what the fudge? There's valves to this? Hold on. Did I just turn that fire off? Did I turn this one off? Oh, yo, there's mechanics, like simple mechanics, but mechanics. What's up here? I don't know, but I'm doing it. Oh, this is how you... Oh, my God. If you could come up here, you just yoink everything quickly. Just get everything to come after you this way. I think that would be open. I think we did open downstairs, though. Hold on. Hold on. I think we did. We definitely opened. Yep, here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yo, beautiful is true. To this day, between all the different gun safes I searched and found, none of them ever gave me an upgrade or even a decent weapon, which was crazy to me. The one place that surely had it all and more was the police station itself, right? It definitely had the zombies, that's for sure. This was the moment. Would luck be on my side or not? With another quick POI in front of me, I managed to get through most of the Bob's place for all it had. But now was the time to prep for what came next my first blood moon. The best place I found that helped me with the first few blood moons was atop the mortician's house. This place gave me all sorts of ideas. Overall, between the gun and my burning spear I made, this first blood moon was a lot easier than I thought. With the tier two infested clear at the ready, I did the one thing that I never wanted to happen. As I arrived in the new area, the zombies were no match for me, picking up any loot I found and excited for what came next. Probably one of the coolest updates to the game and far different from before, the only way I could build most things was finding more magazines. Before heading back to the trader, I needed to clean out my inventory a bit. Making sure no more zombies were near my home, this area really needed some security. For now, it was more about the tier two quests and for me to travel to another city like area. Not only was I finally breaking through to iron age of tools and weapons, but I was one step closer to the next biome. This new POI took me into an underground bunker, hoping the zombies would be kind to me as I looted the place up. That's it. Sharp tricks. No. Oh, oh my God, I got a shotgun. Oh my God, we have a, yo. I haven't found a shotgun in like ever. I know it's a double barrel, but still. With a little traveling back towards my home, I traded in a few things and had my shotgun at the ready. They're just tough. They have like a weird uh, hitbox. I got a headshot somehow. Having started another quest to clear and then taking the supplies with me, I made sure to get all the loot my inventory would allow. Um, I might use a gun for this. No, 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 no! Hello? Are they dead? Oh my god, he's not dead. There we go. Yo, we knocked his butt out. It was all up to the traitor now. See, look. Okay, actually, I was waiting for this. You know what? Maybe we're going to... Okay, you know what? F we're going to do this. I left this until a certain moment where I could, like, voice because this is so cool. 
I got a new special quest that says opening trade routes. It's very far away, but I guess we'll try it. The biggest thing to really help my water issue was having this purifier. It allowed me to drink murky water without any of those side effects. Sure, less water in, but I needed anything at this point. Taking my bike out for another spin, this was the new biome in front of me. The burnt forest and a lot more dangerous than anything I'd ever come across. Chicken! Chicken, 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 I was told to find Trader Jen, and that's exactly what I did. But not before stopping off to take a leak. Hello? Inching my way close to the wonderful Trader, this right here, ladies and gents, this was Jen. Are you still oh, as beautiful as ever? News. Medicine's getting low, so you should stock up while you can. She's beautiful. Yeah, it one place. Oh, look at her. She's so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Crafting skill magazine. Yes, please. <gasps> but, oh, but this. Let's do that one. With the first of many quests to the area, I had to play my cards right. I wasn't dealing with just your everyday average zombie anymore. Woo! We got a green guy. We got a green guy. We gotta go. We gotta go, 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 go. Closer, closer, closer. I can't. Oh, okay. As it went from my first POI to exploring in the burnt forest, I started to feel the difficulty rise. What I wanted to do was build a real base, and the only way for that was workstations, so I did need more magazines for that to come. Just before hitting up the police station in the area, I still needed a new gun. Oh. Yes! Oh my god! Oh, we got so lucky with that. I don't know why I keep getting so lucky now. Actually, honestly, it could be because of the advanced um, thing we found. We got it, we got it, we got it, we're good. Oh my god! Oh my- <laughs> Yo, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this pistol. <laughs> now it was time to pay a little visit to the station. To also get a workbench going, I did need nails. First, I had to get myself a nice forge going for the smelting capabilities. So while waiting for the workbench to be crafted, I cleared out a little area around my home. Curious to see what options I'd get with the workshop. <laughs> Cement mix. Uh, we're gonna have to wait on that chemistry. Again, we'll have to wait. Because I still needed a crucible, most things did need more resources for crafting purposes. With a new day here, I was trying to figure out where to go for this bowling alley. Everything was locked up to the point where I couldn't find a way in. I did have some iron storages crafted up, but there was an easier way to approach this. <gasps> That's cool! That's really cool! Oh, I love it! <laughs> As I did need more leather and a wrench to wreck stuff up, I made my way back to the burnt forest. The best type of furniture that seemed to have some good leather were the computer chairs. Unfortunately for me, they were a dime a dozen. I was thinking about crafting armor from scratch, but I also did need more armor kits for that. It also turns out while exploring in another house, the zombies started to band together. Oh my god, they're pushing me, they're pushing me! <laughs> Right. This place had all sorts of infected and certain special ones waiting for me too. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. No, 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 up, 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 up. Go, 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 please, please, please. Oh my god. Oh, these are the new infected I saw. This like bubbly thing. Go, get down, get down. Actually, I'll back up for this one. Ooh, you like that punk? Literally all of that was just for this loot here. While out for a stroll looking for anything new, I found a blockade up ahead. What were they trying to keep out, or rather inside? Ooh, four and a half skulls. Oh my goodness. Oh crap, where, where? I, I, I gotta go up. I wanna, no. Stupid. Is there another dog? Oh crap, hold on, I'm going up, I'm going up here. What the fudge? <laughs> hey! If it wasn't for this gun, I'd totally be dead right now. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I need a plaster cat. What the fudge? Who pushed me off? I may have also found out that beer makes me dizzy both in real life and in this game. The wooziness was way too much for my head. Ooh, 
even when I'm drunk, dude, I can aim. Oh, Hawkeye 2.0. Now it was just a matter of time before I had to find my way back towards my home, having to protect this place every once in a while from random zombies sprawling around. All right, so we have an Iron Man axe coming and an Iron Man pickaxe coming. Truth be told, I had no idea how to upgrade things from wood to stone, cobblestone, and all that other stuff, but I did learn as the days went on. I was planning on clearing everything out inside the house and also having this nice wall built around the place. Oh, I see what I did wrong. These were stones. This is iron. I can't just make the next level. Though I didn't actually feel safe enough to stick around for a while. Later in the night, I thought to myself and realized that why not do a moat with zombies and fill it with spikes so they could just die? But even that wouldn't really work. The real reason for digging and mining the stone altogether was for more cobblestone blocks. This would allow me to continue the wall I wanted for my home and be able to protect myself from the blood moons. It was a bit of a process, but every so often I was able to set up more of the wall back to then digging and mining for resources and rinse for peat. But also made me the happiest was finally having a forge to craft more lock picks. I was a bit of a maniac when it came to picking locks. I just didn't realize it until now. I also wasn't feeling the fireman's axe. Even for breaking stuff down, it just took way too much stamina and felt too clunky to me. Most of what I did next was taking my wrench to any surviving vehicles out there. The vehicle parts were important and so were the lead batteries. Something I definitely didn't continue was building two different bases. Apparently people had a horde base and a regular base. I just said, screw it. I don't really need that. I'm playing a game. I'm going to have one base. That's it. Okay, cool. I also found out I could use a hammer to upgrade all the levels of blocks, which was pretty cool. As I was playing a really close game here, the next blood moon was closer than I thought, and it was time to head towards the mortician's house. You've way too many hours in the game. Oh my God. That's what I get. <gasps> Ooh, what is that? No, no, no. I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh my God. My spear will kill you all. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, you dead? I think he's dead. We just got to kill the other big doggo. I think that one is still alive. Oh, there he is. Lovely lady. Stop it. Oh my God. They literally, it's every time I try to do one thing, honey time. Oh yeah, actually that's a good idea. Oh, I didn't take my honey with me. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. What the fuck? Okay, you make me nervous. Where's the bird? Okay, okay, this is not good. We're fine. Everything's fine. So fine. You are so fine and dead. You're dead. Really? Really? <laughs> I was about to say, all things considered, it's going pretty well until that happened. Yeah, I didn't really plan ahead. I kind of just picked the building that looked like it could work. Oh, I got it. Kind of spooky. Are the red ones better? They look better. By the next day here, all of my stuff was definitely feeling a repair or two. Something that was brought to my attention, I had the ability to actually craft steel spears. I thought I had to wait for the check mark, but it just meant that level four was the highest tier I could go at the moment. While exploring most places at my own pace, the one I would definitely remember was Johnny Town. Not because of the zombies, but because of the super secret Batman cape type of stuff I would end up finding. Man, one hit and everything. <gasps> whoa, 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 I don't like you. No, 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 no. She got the red dress too, damn it. Oh man. Sometimes that's all you can really do though, you know? Oh, mama! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God. It really seemed that every time I found a new hole to drop into, things got more interesting and terrifying. Entering a new place the next day, I did the thing I really didn't want to do. Killing off my harem of girlfriends in this place. Lucky for me, they were wearing different colored dresses, so it didn't really matter that much. Though this new AK-47 was doing the job. Between that and my burning spear, I had a great toolkit of weapons. The attic also really got my blood pumping. Between the many zombies and a puzzle for more open flames, the loot itself was pretty glorious. If there was something I didn't enjoy too much was the gaping hole I couldn't cross. Talk about a hazard in the workplace. Given another chance to tackle another house, I was so happy to use my AK again. The weapon was a blast. Being as stacked as I could, I wanted to give the burnt forest another go. Looking to make more progress in this place, I found what seemed to be a cozy cornfield farm here. Everything seemed pretty normal. Oh, 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 please be a big bunker for me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that my feet? 
Shh, don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to find my way. <gasps> There's something over there. Wait, what if I Oh I don't like it, I don't like it, I do not like it. E e squeeze my butt! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. With a new morning here, it was time to prep for my next adventure. Ooh, mini bike. I didn't know I could build it. I had everything too. Still on the hunt for more leather, my new mini bike felt so much better than the bicycle. Making sure to grab anything I missed back inside the military outpost and then finding a ranger station close by. <gasps> Steel spear! Oh my god, steel spear, baby! Lucky for me, because I was able to find more animals along the roadside. Feeling accomplished as I did, I made a quick return back home, looking to mod any type of my weapons to armor a hat. Next, I wanted to see what I could sell and if there were any purchases to make while at the trader. Oh, I could literally just buy the forged steel. But I, that was when I was trying to make a steel spear. Ooh, I should totally buy a crucible, though. I am, I am, buying oh, Crucible. Does. With all the different quests and things I accomplished for Trader Jen, I figured that there was no perfect time then now to venture out even more. Funny enough, the entire ride wasn't actually that far. Maybe to the next trading route, but the desert itself was so much closer than I thought. So was my first POI in this area. That is a big flippin' hog. Oh my god. Holy crap. Look at this thing. Woo! I actually killed it? Oh my god. <laughs> Come here. Give it a go. Just give it a go. Things definitely didn't seem much harder than the last area, but it may have also been the cheatsy doodle I was pulling off. Oh, bear is free. Hey, oh, big bear. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Come on. I've got double magazine. Woo. There we go. There we go. Big bear is dead. <gasps> Level 5 AK! Oh my god, 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 hold on, we gotta like learn some books. I had all my favorite spots starting to pop up. Now how about finding that trading route? Nope, distracted by a wolf. How about now? Distracted by a supply drop. All right, third time's a charm. And you know what the first thing I did was? Trying to steal from his ATM. Skipping on some of these shenanigans for this next part, I had way too much stuff in my inventory and I figured that building some storages in the area would help me out just for now. What no one told me was what would happen after resetting the quest because double loot always sounded great. All right, one thing I didn't know that happens is apparently when you reset the point, it resets everything around it too. I built those four storage boxes, remember? Holy crap, I lost a lot of stuff. Oh, thank God. Oh my God, okay. Okay, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't. But still, oh my God. It was a good thing that I didn't put everything away because I would have lost almost, well, everything basically. Now to just sell back inside the trader's post and pick up a new quest. Looking to see what the gun safe at the end had for me, my fingers, everything was crossed. Okay, I just needed something. The rest of the day I spent making my way back towards my home, needing to freshen up and powder my nose. The mortician's house, a place that actually gave me protection from the first two blood moons and a place that I actually never cleared out yet. So I figured it was time to see what all the gossip was about. I found my way through the basement area from all sorts of different zombies me and my ak-47 did the job blasting away anything that wasn't alive truth be told i still didn't know how to manage my inventory and stuck around way too long for the stuff like this to happen again my vehicles definitely came in handy here because of the extra inventory space on my way to another poi i was trying to be a little spider monkey let's say climbing my way into what seemed to be a zombie free zone Next, I was picking up more materials from a tool shop, looking to grab anything really. As I took another break while inside my home, it was time to start some home improvements. That obviously started with the chests first. And this is what I have so far. Oh, it's looking so much better. I moved it all in this little corner. I started using my ax to permanently remove any furniture inside. All I had to do now was take a little ax to break down more wooden blocks. Sometimes using the big axe to do the same thing, but just look prettier. Making sure to fill in any floor pieces so I didn't fall into the void. Even with my little hammer, it made bigger waves while upgrading everything. This far into my game, and I was getting a little too adventurous, some might say. But I was loving every part of it. From all the ranger stations, to zombie galore, and just loot to take home to my girl. I mean, loot to take home. So while out exploring on my mini bike some more, I came across this NDC checkpoint, and with no zombies to be found. Was I truly alone, or was something waiting for me around the corner? <gasps> this is a steel spear! Oh, we got a level four steel spear, guys. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh my god. I did find a new upgrade. Oh, oh, oh. 
Look at this bad boy. If there was something I shouldn't have done, it was pressing the big red button. Hello, guys. What if I press this button? What does that do? Oh, it opened up a lot of zombies to try and kill me. Okay. What if I go up here, though? Well, that's a... That, uh, what is that? What is that? Oh, <laughs> Instead of running away from feeling overwhelmed, I pushed through and found loot for days. Places like this had it all, and now I had it all. With my bike running low on fuel, it must have been fate with an actual gas station I found in town. By the end of my trip, I was infected, had a broken leg with meds pumping through my veins, and I was buzzed from downing a beer. Talk about a good, bad, and all of the above day. Oh, this place I have to go into. Look at this. I'm a little drunk, but it's called Joe's USA. And I'm drunk. This could not be more perfect. All right, Joe, let's freaking go. Looking for the closest trader to sell my goodies to, Jen was the next best thing, making sure to take some time to heal as I traveled back home. As I was feeling better, I remembered a POI from before that looked like fun. Surely nothing would go wrong here. Wait, what? Pete's hidey hole? Sounds kind of weird, but okay, I'll check it out, Pete. What you got for me? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 Pete's hidey hole. Pete's hidey hole. Holy crap, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. I didn't think Pete's hidey hole would be this big. I mean, there's juicy loot, but Pete's hidey hole? Oh my god. Okay, well, uh, oh, I thought I was totally gonna die there. Oh my god. One thing that did make everything worthwhile was this new friend of mine. Named after a type of bird and one that went with a big bang with every press of the button. Ooh. What the fudge? Are you kidding me? Range damage? What what ammo does it take? Uh oh, this is a oh, oh, this is a magnum. A magnum, magnum, magnum. Does 80 something damage, right? 89 damage. Oh my god. Hold on. How fast does it go? Ah. Look how oh, it looks so good. <laughs> oh. Hmm. It wasn't until I came across two different type of hordes in these basements that I started to show my love and appreciation towards. All right, we got to test this out. Hold on. I did get some ammo. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, even the way it sounds. Oh, damn. Thinking about going home today, I found one place that was like Disney World to me. It had all of the things similar to roller coasters, but not, and there was no lineups. I was first to all the good stuff. I did go on a little trip around the desert, digging up different buried treasures, and then proceeded to point my gun at this trader. I also needed all the money I could find for this next purchase of mine. Oh, they have SMGs. They have SMGs, man. Oh, I kind of want an SMG, but what ammo? It uses nine mils. I can get rid of the pistol. Oh, beautiful. That's just what I wanted too. It turns out that I didn't need to worry about magazines for crafting new guns. If you were lucky enough like myself, you could just buy them from different traders. All right, SMG, you are mine. Pretty please. Thank you very much. Look at that. All right. Even with it being the next blood moon, I wanted to finish as many quests as I could in town. The next tier was so close and this would eventually lead me into the snow biome. Speaking of which, I had to get my butt back on top that mortician's house. The only place I still felt safe. Here they come. Here they come. I just have to make sure that the big copper dude doesn't see me too. How did you get up so quickly? What the fudge? Already? All right. While trying to play it super careful, I did my best to build a way up for the zombies. My guns needed to test their metal. I did also need a better way across this gaping hole. Sadly, wooden blocks was the fix for that right now. As for the weight on more steel bars, this gave me plenty of time to go for a more open concept inside my house. And it has four slots instead. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Nail gun. Oh my god, okay. Let's see how good it is, because apparently this is used to upgrade, right? Let's see. Oh, the speed at which this thing goes is crazy. Also really loud, but I like it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Having stored away a lot the next day, I found most of my time spent zooming around the lands as I ran into another DNC checkpoint too. A little different than the last, but with plenty of zombies trying to protect their goods from me. I hope we're cool. If we're not cool, let me know. I really want to be cool now. Also could use some of the grease monkey stuff. What I didn't expect to find as I continued on the road was this West End station, seeming normal enough and nothing strange about it. Oh, 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 what was that? Why did it explode? Like, oh boy. Oh, I've never seen that before. 
Ah, uh, okay. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Kill that dog first. So what is down there? Oh, nothing. It literally... That was so cool. That has never, ever happened in my game before, and I loved every moment of it. If there was something I wanted to explore, it was this tall, beautiful, gorgeous building in front of me. Instead of actually taking the time to go through each floor and zombie, I found a better way to skip all of that. Turns out this place also didn't have much of a loot area, so that had me leaving the area quickly and going back home. It was time to look into some traps in that. This is probably what you've been waiting for, isn't it? Isn't it? I don't think I've ever made this ever. Like, I've never had this, right? The auger? It's a drill. Basically a drill. I do need a lot of fuel for it. All right, so let's see. <laughs> hey, the auger, man. The friggin' auger. Again, I don't know why I did this, but in my mind, the only fix was just filling the holes with blocks. Come to find later that there was actual blocks to fill in with dirt and so forth. I also had a few uninvited guests stumbling into my place. Hey, guys, what's up? Party time? Party time, party time, what's going on? This thing is so strong, I love it. <laughs> it's legitimately so good. I was curious to see what this new ratchet of mine could pull off. The vehicle parts were coming in like hotcakes. Maybe a little syrup on top and just, oh, oh, oh some fruit. This allowed for a second forge to come into play giving me twice the amount of steel and iron to be made. This new axe of mine was the thing of legends and had both great stamina usage and damage to the blocks. All my house needed now was a few more upgrades for walls and floors, and that was it. To be fair, my next idea for building a huge, ginormous wall of protection probably wasn't the way to go. However, was it going to take forever with all the upgrades and materials I needed to not only build this thing out of wood to then upgrade to stone and concrete and so forth? Oh, you bet your butt this thing did. With day 25 here, I had to start with a little hole for the foundation to get going. I felt like the dirt underneath this thing wasn't stable enough and started digging my way through, placing all the wooden blocks I could fit and then retrofitting everything I had with all the upgrades I made. In all fairness, I didn't know 7 Days to Die had a range in which zombies would spawn if I wasn't in field of view. The build that would become my wall was great and majestic, but was it really that practical? Not so much. What I also learned about the game and mining iron was very similar to Valheim. You had the top nodes that acted like the iron spawn or copper for Valheim. And if you dug in a certain area, hundreds, if not thousands of pieces were waiting for you. What did come in handy was my next workbench, so to speak. Planning for what I thought was going to save my base, I completely missed the most important thing for this blade trap. The only way that traps worked was with power, and I wouldn't even know where to begin. So for the time being, this was on the back burner. What I also didn't realize was how many magazines I actually had for this next vehicle <laughs> look at this oh my god look at it look at it look at it oh holy crap no this is so different yo look at that it's beautiful oh my god <laughs> holy crap I think we gotta feel it up. Not only did this beast look and feel different, but it was so much more than I thought the update would ever be, which also meant I needed to visit the burning forest again. I went around popping and breaking down any new vehicles I could find, slowly approaching the desert again in hopes to find crushed sand, which was the easiest thing ever as I just had to dig with my shovel. Normally I would use about three quarters tank of fuel, but because I was riding this new motorcycle of mine, it saved me so much fuel for the rest of the game. Even the auger I had for mining stone was something special. What I was normally making with just the regular pickaxe, I was now making double, if not triple, because of the auger. This is what it looked like to have concrete upgrades, by the way. Not only that, but equipping the full miner's outfit gave me unlimited stamina and a lot more perks when it came to farming stone and iron. With a new day here, I had everything I needed to start crafting the crucible. No more spending 15,000 coins on the tool. Now for the fun part. Placing down a certain shape of a build and upgrading all of them piece by piece. As you could see, this is the build I wanted and also didn't need at all. It just played the part of looking really cool and also taking way too many resources. With the every so often occasion of watching out for the wandering horde of zombies. If you didn't think the wall around my base was cool, then you should see my next idea. Looking to build a secret way underground to and from my base for no reason at all. I did have to keep an eye out on the timer of mine, but to be fair, whenever I did start a project, I got really locked in, even forgetting about the next blood moon. Oh crap, it's about to be, uh, the moon, the moon. It's about to be the moon, guys. 22. Oh my god, I got so into my building. 
Like, I'm trying to do something so much different than I did last time. I'm gonna let them chase me a little bit around this thing. I'm playing Ring Around the Rosie. I gotta finish my build first before I use it. <laughs> so the tactic now, train the zombies in one area until I can kill them and go back and forth with it. Gotta train them first, guys. This is Call of Duty Black Ops 2 zombies. You gotta get used to it. Whoa. As I started to feel the overwhelming sense of these zombies, I had to do everything in my power to make it back to the safe house. Oh, kill the big mama is complete too. Look at that. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't want to be on the motorcycle. I want to have like my real base going for that to work. I need to get it set up. So next uh, horde week, we're going to set that up. It's going to be crazy. The loot I did pick up from the Blood Moon Festive was great, but so was my base. I mean, come on, look at this thing. This was the progress I was making alongside the wall. Double massive idea, double the fun, right? Right? <laughs> the next day followed as the same, and then further upgrading the material I had. I did also find a way to fill the holes in properly. Not with my seed, silly, but with dirt seeds turned into dirt blocks. While continuing the walk around the back portion of my base, I did set up a few stairs for easy access and then cleared out more dirt for a flush kind of look. My base inside and out the walls really started to come together. All that time spent farming to bring this thing to life. Having the great idea of solid doors now, I had just the thing in place. As night normally made everything feel extra dark, I was keen on also getting some lights set up. But that also meant I had to deal with the electrical wiring part. Oh, it's because of the dang roof. Are you kidding me? I may have also attempted to hook up my single blade trap, seeing that the range on the connection needed something to travel further out with. <gasps> whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Look at it! Oh, yeah, I'm gonna play skip rope. Weep. 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 How do I cut it? Oh, here we go. Hold on, how much... Uh, how much power does the uh, trap take? Twenty watts! Oh my gosh! This was how far I made it, and all the electrical stuff, and trying to supply the power that I did. Meanwhile, I continued on more of that secret cave digging and trying to get this last project of mine finished. I finally made it to the other side. Oh my god. It's not even that far. Like, it is far for what I'm doing, but it's like in real reality, it's not that far at all. It's just like by the trader. But this is how I get out. I'm going to make this big enough to where I can get all my vehicles outside. I think I'll make it bigger going this way rather than going up because there won't be as much space over here. What really helped me inside my home, I found something called the power relay, a way to extend the range of power, but also divert multiple sources to continue sourcing said power as well. I kid you not, this took me a couple of hours and I still wasn't sure what I was doing. Okay, so we have all the relays hooked up. We have all the relays also going to the power source. And once we have the switch, place the switch, attach this to the switch, then the switch to... I mean, this one or that one doesn't matter just because they're all connected now. Because you can kind of see it going, right? Oh, look at that. We got lights. We got... It's so simple. Like, it's so, uh, such a small thing. Like, lights. Being able to see more. Oh, I like that. Look at it. Now it's not so dark in here, man. Oh. So while giving it some time, I made my way outside and started on a few more upgrades to the wall. The iron itself wasn't really needed, but I figured I could at least make the foundational blocks a little more tankier than average. What I did want to tackle next was back in the desert. Having all the tools I needed, I forgot the most important part. The outfit. That didn't stop me though, as I still needed more iron and shale. Shale would be turned into more fuel, which was an awesome score. Thinking about heading home after all that shale, I wanted to check out one last thing. Oh yeah, you had the special jobs. Holy crap, that's right. Now I had no reason not to head over to the next biome. I mean, nothing would or could distract me at this point. Oh my god, it made me go here? Oh yes, please. Oh yes, freaking please. Oh, no it doesn't. Do you see all the red dots? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This door isn't going to be locked anytime soon. Oh my god, look at how many zombies. Look at all those out there. There's so many. <laughs> Oh, I got something good. Guys, oh my god, oh my god, auto shotgun, auto shotgun, auto shotgun. But it uses pellets? What the fudge? I also figured it would be worth my while to deposit everything I had in my inventory back home. Out of curiosity, I just had to see what my skills were up to. On day 35, and while filling in more holes that I missed, this underground secret engine of mine was taking far longer than I expected. This would also be my first time actually using my base and what I built as a way to fight off against the horde. It's starting, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, 
Oh, they can spawn inside because it's uh not my base. Okay, so we're gonna have to protect this. They're literally coming from inside my base. Yeah, they're just coming over here. Okay, this is really nice. I like it. I like it. Obviously, it's gonna go crazier. And there you have it. There you have it. There you have it. Get out of here. Get out of here. All things considered, my shotgun helped loads, and this was just the start to something wonderful. Looking back at it now, between the new stairs I added and all the repairs I was making, this door wouldn't stick around for long. Blocking the path, I needed to have it closer inside. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment Sean down below. And if you know what Sean I'm talking about, then... Heck yeah, man. The next few days, I was looking to farm more iron and chill out in the desert. This place was loaded with it for every turn I took, and I couldn't be happier. I would be happier if not for the mess I was causing, though. Ow, 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 ow. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't know that would happen. What? The biggest thing to watch was all the falling zombies alongside the falling rock. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Having everything I needed, it was time for the juicy gas cans to be made. With a new day here, I had new skills unlocked to show me the tracks of different animals. Chickens were in the midst, but I still needed loads of clay. The only way to go about that was using my shovel and some dirt. I probably should have just stuck to the auger for this stuff because dirt wasn't an ore. Taking the food I had and filling my soon to be happy belly, I was curious about more food types and the types of plots needed for planting and growing my own things. Wood was definitely needed now and because the area of my base was a barren wasteland of trees, the best way to travel was underground. Did I mention how much I loved my shotgun and what it actually did for me the lives it saved today me myself and i the wandering zombies were fine and didn't bother me so much it was those darn screaming ladies who had boots of speed having everything i needed from start to finish my little crop plot area was hopefully gonna self-sustain my needs and more next was planning down any seeds i could get from this farm started if there was something to worry about it was making sure the zombies didn't spawn inside my home as well the walls and even these new stairs would hopefully help with that to be honest, I think the problem was how big I actually made the wall. Because I was out of sight for a lot of parts of my base, zombies and other stuff still spawned inside. With the last few stragglers being cleared out, I was ready to test out my lights inside my home. I knew exactly where I was headed next, and the place I really wanted to tackle. Tier 3 and the snow biome. Though, I would take a few detours along the way because I loved my shiny objects. Even this alpha station put a spell on me as I had to find what made this place so special. Turns out, it wasn't a charm and it wasn't special, but a swarm of zombies did want to give me a few love taps. That definitely wouldn't stop me though as I made my way through the last bits of desert, taking in this new fresh biome and freezing my balls off as I looked for Trader Hugh. Heck yeah, this is huge. Whoa. The quests I started getting from my new trader was like none other. This man also had the mouth of a sailor. They're zombies. No so wait, no hold on. I want to show you guys something. I did see something before this guy was like, oh, do, 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 do. this. M60 machine gun, and it takes 7.62. All right, look at this, an M60. <laughs> the only way to really test out this gun was in a super high skulls POI. This house really had it out for me though. With all the splooging police zombies, even with a handful of police zombies upstairs, I had myself a little jump scare with some radiated splooge zombies. Standing inside that radiation zone was problematic. This also wasn't the greatest idea, but the treasure maps I had from previous days were located in different areas. Easy enough to find, but not without the protectors. <gasps> Multiple bears and dogs and everything. There's a bit. Whoa! Oh, 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 that's a bigger bear. I don't know why they look similar in size. They they are not. <laughs> not even close. All right, what? The oh! I found a level five. Oh my god. Oh my god. As I finished up with my treasure hunts, this new resident caught my eye. Though it was like any other place I'd experience. Because my base was built in the easiest of biomes, I never had the full grasp of a real zombie horde. Come on, boys and girls. My 6,000 uh, experience right there. I'm still leveling up so fast. At my level two, I think I'm like level 60 something, and I'm still leveling up crazy like, which is insane to me. Whoa, I'm, I'm actually lagging. What the fudge?
How many zombies did you call? What the fudge? That's what. Look at this. I'm lagging off of these zombies alone. Hello, guys. There are so many zombies. So many zombies. I don't like these caller freaks. Hey, I just met you. Please don't call me. You crazy. Oh my god. I was actually worried for the first time in a long while. Not only that, but I had the best guns I could at this point. Um, okay, so we're... <laughs> I'm kind of like... This is not good. I gotta reload. I gotta reload. I gotta reload. Are they breaking through? Oh my god. Oh my god. It is so laggy in here. There's so many zombies. I, like... The ladies called them. I don't I don't give my number up free. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. They just keep coming. Was it a blood moon? No shot, right? <laughs> that was more zombies than any horde I've fought so far. Isn't that crazy? As I approached the last map location, I found a bear with a different type of loot drop. Apparently the game had loot bags of different types, starting from yellow to blue and now a red loot bag? My guess is that this was the best type of tier you could get. On day 47, I needed a trader's post and soon. I had to pass up on so much loot and that was destroying me inside. Trudging through the wastelands and the freezing temps of the snow biome, I had my eyes set on another supply drop. One that would surprise me in the best way possible. Uh, excuse me? You're just gonna give me a level 6 SMG? Holy crap. Uh, well, I, I gotta keep that now. I had no idea what mods were best for my weapons, so I just went for what felt right. All I knew is that the silencer plus level 6 SMG was unstoppable. However, now I needed to fill in more of my land with some trees. This base of mine was about to become the spotlight. Doubling down on more upgrades, I needed to make sure it could take more zombies during the blood moon. I also added steel upgrades a few blocks high so zombies didn't have a chance to break through the concrete. This was also the outcome of said planted trees. With that said, the blood moon was seconds away and it was time to test my might and my m16 did i get a little too cocky sure was i going to die i hope not <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. if not for all the guns i had and my will to live this would have gone so much worse but i picked myself up dusted myself off and got to work no creepy crawler was killing me today most of what I did for today was clearing the rest of the structures outside my wall. I wanted complete vision for the blood moons to come and just more space in general for all corners. Thankfully, the auger was a great pick for that and with all the fuel I managed to cook up, this was easy as one, two, three. The thing with me is when I get locked into something, when I get focused, I forget to blink. My eyes felt like they were bleeding, so I needed to take a step back. That meant using my auger on some dirt and getting more clay for my forges. Yay. <laughs> Sure, the auger was probably the best tool for the job, and I was making more clay than I could ever imagine, but this thing started to feel sweaty. You know what didn't feel so sweaty though? Trying to set up a sturdy platform for what came next. They had three legs, went bap bap bap, and then they were ready to go. I was slowly on my way to getting turrets made and built for all the zombies that came next. I just needed to figure out which power source was best for the job. The battery bank itself seemed like the way to go as the normal generators didn't have that big a cap on them. My best bet was placing down the few turrets I had and finagling with the wiring. At the time, I didn't see that the yellow arrows were pointed in the direction I attached them to, so that left me a little confused. What did become my best friends at the time were these power relays. They extended the power source if needed and just made my life so much easier. Now I could set everything up to a power bank, doing my best to remember the power bank needed to be turned on, and then flipping the switch. What I really needed to figure out now was how to place these three-legged sons of guns. No pun intended. <laughs> Trying to make sure my turrets also had extra protection, I had the perfect setup for this. No more acid or birds swooping down. All I had to do now was finish up the other two sides, placing more bars for added protection and then any ammo I could fit into the turrets. I guess because there is a spawn rate, so one thing you do have to realize or you have to take into consideration this game, when you build a bigger base, it's not gonna do you any good, unfortunately. Like what I built here is fun, it's great, it looks cool, but it's not practical because when I'm too far and I can't see and there's no vision, zombies will spawn there. And I don't know if I can put torches down and we'll be good. Look at this. They're actually doing it. It's just one turret too. Holy crap. At that point, I'll just stay inside and repair. That is so cool. Sure, these turrets were loud as heck, but man, did they save me having to drop down and risk my booty. That was it, guys. Oh, the turrets are beautiful. We can turn it off now. 
This one had everything too, two turrets and all that. I feel like I should have started this sooner, but I loved every minute of it. I also made sure to plant trees outside the walls because of last time. The next few days, I managed to get myself into another predicament. This POI really had it out for me. Luckily, I was close to a trader, so I could just sell some stuff and make some space. Exploring another house nearby, I really had the door tactic down. As long as there was a working door, I could use it as a saving grace. On the other hand, my machine gun also helped so much with that. Just before leaving the area, I managed to get things organized extremely wary for what came next. The screamers really knew how to throw a party. Zombies, spitters, and even bears. What more could I want? Something I was very cautious about was using magazines as well. I needed more paper and scrapping them down gave me just that, as to why my storage space was stacked with all those books. As I was trying to maximize everything I could take with me, there was a few supply drops in the distance. Excited to pick up more stuff from my already packed inventory, the next problem I didn't end up running into was hearing a horde of sorts trying to get me while exploring this Blue Ridge POE. What the f- <laughs> You guys are just chilling up here, all right? It's the Liddy Tom. I like it. Where are these guys? Like, see, this is the thing is like zombies will get to you no matter what. They'll dig their way. Of all the places to get distracted with, it was another freaking bookstore. Not just any bookstore, but a crack a book POI. This place had all the magazines and extra paper I needed. Not that I had much to work with, but the paper was the only thing in mind. Finding myself cutting it a little close so far away from home, I had to make sure I was ready for the Blood Moon fight. The one place I wanted to hold up in was called the Two-Bit Tower. A huge place infested with too many zombies to count, and honestly, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it. I only had a few hours left, and this place had so many floors to clear. The basement alone was tough enough. As I made my way through the first section of the building, using the spear probably wasn't the greatest idea. Seeing that every turn inside, more and more zombies appeared, it truly started to overwhelm me. It even got to a point the further I climbed, the laggier things got. <gasps> oh, sorry, 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 wasn't me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, imagine if I had to do all of this while trying to survive down there. Because they're going to they're gonna be coming after me now. Have it. I wonder if I could use my rocket launcher sometime. Because that'd be cool. Like right now. Or not that close, actually. Ooh, what about... <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, it goes big boom. <laughs> oh, big boom. I love... I really like that. All right, hold on. I'm going to... But yeah, they're just breaking everything. They just want this building to come down. The problem now is finding a way down safely. <gasps> All right. Uh, motorcycle time, guys. I didn't think I'd fall from there. Seeing that I was down for the count, I made it my mission to survive on ground level. Bazooka and all. <gasps> I love it. Oh, it's done. We're done. We're done with the thingy. Nice, nice, nice. I finally made it, guys. With the final quest the trader gave me, this was the best You're news crazy. yet. Yes, got any special order? We're Three going K to it, guys. We're going to it. Look, 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 look. Special tier five. Don't just oh, we're going to Joel's place. Oh, my God. Looking to return home for something so special, I found some extra time to explore another shotgun messiah. You know we have to stop here, right? Come on, you know it. From shooting my M16 or using the rocket launcher to kill all the zombies was a true sight to behold. With everything I did and finished up with, it was time to head back home. I needed a refresher. Oh man, was I ready to tackle this next place. The toughest of all places and where I could find some devastatingly good upgrades for my tools and weapons. Buddy, hey Joel, Billy Joel, I'm coming in. Let me see your music, your selection, your varieties. Alright, let's, let's, let's go do it. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. Man, day so. six. This game is long. I forgot how long this game is. It's taking me like two and a half weeks. If I'm being honest, every single place left me wanting more, but also scared for my life. Uh, there's a lot of zombies here. Like a lot, a lot of zombies. What the fudge? The jump in difficulty from snow to this new wasteland area was unimaginable. Oh, this place, like, this is the first place I, I oh my, there's so much happening. <laughs> oh my god. If I had a base in this area, doing the blood moons would be insane. My inventory was definitely full, but with quests like this, I just had to pick up everything I could. The next quest accepted, I couldn't believe the location it sent me to. Oh, <gasps> wait, is this Shotgun Messiah? No shot. It is too. Oh my god. I love this place. This is my favorite place. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. Shotgun messiahs are the best. 
Why are there so many dogs? What the fudge? Where did that all come from? I really used the doors as much as I could here, okay? I used them to my full advantage. Not only that, but all the green zombies were just going bonkers on me. I had one more thing to do at the traders before heading back outside as well. Finding myself traveling to a building that looked like the one place I really didn't want to climb. This was a beast of POIs, and one that taught me the real meaning of lag when too many zombies were in one place. This was just the ground floor, and already it felt like life and death. The next few floors were surprisingly tamed compared to the rest, although I did run into a problem, however. Oh, the power of which that is this. Climbing my way up the stairs some more, I found a harem of beautiful ladies. Undead, sure, but one's after my own heart. Now for the hard part, figuring out where those SOBs were so I wouldn't get bombarded again. Okay, okay, okay. Is this the right way to go? Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Also, this weapon would be really good. It's just really slow reload. I just want a faster reload on it. E in here? Oh, in here! <laughs> just a lot for me. Okay. This was the best way to get down any tall building. She do it always here. Look at this. The view is actually beautiful. Oh my god. And if that building wasn't enough, I somehow had to prepare for another blood moon while inside the wasteland. This had me scoping out a POI called the Vanity Tower and a place that had me on my toes the entire time. I was worried about where this horde was, so I dropped down. Biggest mistake I would ever make. Even with the blood moon done, we're still trying to dig their way in. Obviously, what I still had to learn the hard way was trying to explore explore random holes. Random holes were a no-go in this game, but a voice inside my head said cannonball. Long story short, this POI was ruthless and nowhere near the loot I was getting from the boxes. On day 72, things could not have looked more bleak. My leg was broken for two hours. I was being attacked from every angle, and I was also panic shooting. Panic shooting 99% of the time would get me killed in seven days. Once I was on my motorcycle, I had to book it back towards the trader, looking to repair anything and also fix up my leg, of course. I was able to level up a few more things with some extra points laying around and did the one thing I shouldn't have. Normally, I'd take a break from POIs, I'd call a heart attack, but no, not this one. Such a difference with this game, too, when you get into this area, like this whole location. Everything is just laggy. But that is because there's so many zombies. I was desperate. Desperate to find a way outside. And the only way to do that was climbing to the top. I know, sounds redundant, but having left the zombies alive on each floor below, I just needed a few seconds to myself. Having set up my escape plan, I truly thought the ladder was usable. Turns out it would leave me hanging and I needed a plan B quick. Yup. Oh my god, yup. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to the ladder. I saw this ladder and I want it. Push. The hell? Really? Two birds? Okay, I gotta get off. I gotta get off. The birds are pushing me off. I don't like that. That was the scariest moment of my life. Just gonna keep shooting until there's no more shooting. Talk about another couple close calls. At this point, I wasn't sure how I was able to handle all of this. Finding myself another POI the next day, I was met with a long staircase heading to a basement. Giving my leg time to recover because sprained or broken really put a stopper into most things. Thankfully, this place wasn't as bad as the last few and the zombies even knew it too. As the next few days went, I had to give up this treasure map because of so many things coming all over my face. I know, I know. <laughs> Hear me out. I know how that sounds. The wastelands wasn't playing around, and neither was I. I traveled through more of the snow area some more, stopping off ever so often to check out a few shiny things, finally making progress back towards my home. The plan was simple now, scrapping down any vehicles I could find and making sure to grab electrical parts whenever I found them as well. <gasps> I just noticed the trees. Oh my god. So apparently if you let them stay and like just do their thing. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Okay, see, you could kind of tell where I planted trees, sort of. <laughs> this was also a blood moon night, so preparation came first before everything else. Oh, it's that night too. All right, we got to fight some people, guys. 
Here we go. I survived my 10 blood moons. And you guys are going down. Baby boys, baby girls. This far into my playthrough and I wanted to experience almost everything I could in the full release of 7 Days to Die. Starting with my next idea for a new vehicle. Oh, 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 oh the biggest, baddest truck ever. Alright, what's the inventory like? Oh, I just got goosebumps. I should have had this the entire time. What? Are you kidding me? Yo, this is a monster truck. Oh my god, look at this thing. Absolutely crazy. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. By far the best vehicle in the game, personally, because you could ram pretty much everything down from zombies to trees. The only drawback for that was the repairs it needed quite often. If the 4x4 truck was that good, then the gyrocopter had to be up there too. With a new day here, there was something I always wanted to try. Alright, interact with the vending machine for rave pandas. Water. Wait, can we sell? Huh, so... Oh, you know what this might be? When you play multiplayer, if you have a bunch of items that you don't need anymore, you can just throw them in here for people to buy them. And they will, like, you come back to this, and I guess this is how you can earn money as well. I had the best day today, as I bought all my favorite treats from different vending machines. The kid in me just couldn't say no. So close to what I could taste, this was the gyrocopter. Look at this bad boy, this beast of a thing. I finally, this is my first ever. Look at this. <laughs> gyrocopter or the gyrocopter man it even has like a cool shark looking face what the fudge all right so storage storage is still bigger than the motorcycle like obviously the 4x4 truck is going to be crazy because it's a 4x4 truck but that's not bad to get around from point a to point b so quickly like that's not bad at all ladies and gents this is your captain speaking how the hell do you fly this thing <gasps> what am i doing I don't, guys, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't go up. I want to go up. I don't know how to go up. Oh, okay. I get it. Okay. So apparently C is pitch, which is go down and B is go, uh, or space is like kind of go up. That is actually the coolest thing ever. We can see from down to town and everything. Oh my God. I just got to make sure I don't like die or crash or anything because this is, it's gonna be hard to get back. As the learning curve came slowly to this vehicle, I was still alive somehow. Flying high above the desert and seeing my new target in sight. Thinking to myself, I could totally land this thing. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. All right, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Not only did I not land it at all, but I almost died. Imagine that. <laughs> Continuing my journey over the snow biome and then back across the wastelands once more, I caught a glimpse of what days could look like. I would just fly this sucker through the blood moon nights and enjoy myself. But then another thought came up and I ain't no pansy. While being stuck was a pain in my butt, I managed to get free and race to the skies once more. Landing to a nearby place and then quickly learning why flying during a blood moon was the worst possible thing ever. I figured while I was grounded, I could also just clear out this school below. What I should have realized is that this was the wastelands and I was in a freaking school. I'm not sure what I was looking for, but being distracted for even just 30 seconds, the plane would drop out of the sky. Who'd have thought? What I did end up finding after falling to my feetsies and breaking some cankles, the perfect spot for zombies to not pass. This little area on the ladder and my shotgun had so many laughs along the way. As the days went on and I was still in the air flying around, the biggest plus to having this gyrocopter was getting to different supply drops very quickly. There was like four different ones spread across two biomes below. Most of what time was left, I spent becoming a natural at flying this thing. I mean, just look at me go. I was doing the lateral. I was doing something called the spaghetti and even trying the not a barrel roll. What I didn't expect to see so soon is when I returned back to my home. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do a thing and just let my turrets take over. Truth be told, this would work better than I thought, but I would have to wait a bit longer. Of course, sometimes I do something a little dumb, but that was part of the charm. The biggest reasons for the turrets not helping that last blood moon was because of my power supplies. Apparently things weren't hooked up properly, but I had a better idea. Separate each one of them with their own source of power and with the lead batteries, and then having three individual individual switches to be ready. Remember when I mentioned the 4x4 truck being the best thing ever? I wasn't wrong, but I also didn't realize how close I was to almost destroying this beautiful thing. 
What I also skipped out on was how much I was holding back my storage. All I had left to do now was set up the shotgun turrets I had from before, start prepping the buckshot and any other gunpowder I could, and even taking what casings to bullet tips I had for the 9mm ammo. Those who said I would go through ammo once I started looking into turrets more were so right. With day 94 here, the only things I was focused on now had to do with more workbenches. The last thing I wanted for this base was a complete garden. Not just any garden though, oh no. But I managed to get back outside the wall and mow down some trees, grabbing all the loot from different supply drops and just waiting around, waiting for the final touches to my garden to be done with. It turned out I wouldn't have to wait so long to finally test out my turrets as well. Oh, I should probably get some, uh, wait, do I have uh, steel bars on me? Nope, I should probably get some steel bars, huh? It's gonna get loud, sorry. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's gonna get so loud. <laughs> oh my God, the shotguns and everything are going off like crazy. Look at this. Come on guys, what you waiting for? <laughs> ah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful sight, my own. I love it. I love it. We're leveling up. Look at this. 103. Level 103, baby. That's pretty much a level. Oh, hey. How's it going over there? What are you doing inside? What I really didn't expect to see so late into the game was a big, monstrous creature. Who's the big guy? Who let the big guy in? Look at this big guy. Do you see that? Holy crap, there's a really big guy. I gotta repair this. I've never seen this guy in the game. What the fudge? And they actually broke my door down. Oh my god, I should have repaired that. That's my bad. How you doing? Look, he's got like a radio chip. Is that gonna explode? Um, that's not like nuke explosion, right? I hope not. The only mistake I wouldn't make again was me playing around too much with the zombies. Having them break down my steel door had me running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Lucky for me, I did have all the steel I needed for repairs and made sure to build the garden up piece by piece when the spikes were finished. Oh my god, I'm not even kidding. I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. This game, this, this, oh, this new playthrough took me about three weeks, almost a month. Um, I don't know why I did it, but I did it. We made it to day 100 and the day is still climbing. It is still counting. Look at this. This is going to be the last thing I'm working on. It's just, I'm going to do a little wall of, uh, a wall of spike traps. A little garden of spike traps. It's going to be my garden. My spike trap garden. The one row wasn't enough. Maybe if I make this entire thing spikes. To be honest, I think this is actually where I'm where I'm just done. I hope you guys really enjoyed this playthrough. I hope you enjoyed the vanilla experience of this full release of version 1.0 for Seven Days to Die. It has been phenomenal. It's been so much fun. And I truly hope you enjoyed it just as much as I have. Because it's been it's been a new experience for me. With all the updates and everything added, it's been crazy. I love your faces so much. Thank you so much for the support to this day. And this is Ray Pandas signing off. Or I guess signing out. Bye guys. Bye everybody. Bye everybody. Bye guys.